Have you recently been contacted about completing your new entrance safety audit, but you're not completely sure what it is and how to prepare? Keep watching this video to find out. As a new owner of a trucking company, there's a lot of hard work that goes into getting your business running. We want to help you be prepared for your new entrant audit so your new business is not put at risk of being shut down. Ready? Let's get started. What is the new entrant safety audit? You might be wondering just what exactly a new entrant safety audit is. So let's start off with a few basics. The new entrant safety audit is a requirement of the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, better known as the FMCSA set in place to make sure that trucking companies are following all the required safety standards. This audit occurs within your trucking business's first 18 months of operations. When you are chosen to be audited, you will receive an alert from the DOT that will provide you with information about your audit, such as whether your audit is online or in person, the name of your official auditor, and what you are being audited on, alcohol and drug violations, driver violations, and or repairs and inspections violations. From here, you must present the requested and appropriate paperwork to the DOT, which will then be reviewed by your official auditor. After review, your official auditor will contact you with feedback. If you receive negative feedback or were not able to submit the correct paperwork, you are risking being put out of service. But don't worry, this situation is avoidable if you follow the right steps to be prepared for the new entrant audit. Step 1. Be organized. The most important step to being prepared for your new entrant audit is also the easiest. You could be contacted for an audit at any given moment, so the best way to stay prepared is to make the effort to always be organized with all your paperwork. This way, you will always have any required documentation ready to go, and your audit can go quickly and smoothly. Step two, follow drug and alcohol requirements. As we mentioned before, one of the things your company can be audited on is drug and alcohol violations. So it is crucial to make sure that you and your drivers are compliant at all times, not only for the sake of your business, but also for everyone's safety. To keep your trucking business compliant, make sure your drivers are complying with testing and getting the necessary results for operation. You can ensure this by having an efficient drug and alcohol testing program in place for your drivers. Step three, avoid driver and operation violations. Another easy but crucial step in keeping your new trucking business compliant is to make sure your company operations follows all DOT safety standards and regulations. In terms of general operations, it is important to ensure your fleet is protected by insurance. Also, you should make sure that drivers follow hours of operation requirements, which can be tracked with an ELD system. More specifically, to avoid driver violations, make sure that your drivers hold active CDL permits and that they meet the medical qualifications for operations. Step four, follow repair inspection regulations. Finally, the last step you can take to be prepared for your new entrance safety audit is to avoid repair and or inspection violations. To pass this part of the audit, you should completely avoid using out of service vehicles by making necessary repairs as soon as they are identified and maintaining regular maintenance on your fleet. Thanks for tuning in today. We hope that you found this information useful and that you feel prepared for your new entry safety audit. For more videos on safety compliance, trucking business operations, and tips, check out the rest of our YouTube channel. Still unsure about your new entrant? Check out our website to contact a safety expert to help you throughout this process with a mock audit. My name is Sean and I'll see you next time.